Well, guys, look, it's more Trove gameplay. <laughs> Not that I've already done this like two times last night, but uh, yeah. We'll go on again just because let me actually move my mic back. There we go. It's all good now. It's okie dokie. Oh god. <laughs> For some reason I like totally forgot how to play Dino Tamer. I don't know why. Like I was pressing like I didn't know what to press. That was weird. But yeah, we are still I guess low key on the quest to get a full stack of gem boxes. And that is going to be a lot easier today because we get 50% more boxes, so it's like, yes, you know? I'll take it. We take them. So I'm just waiting to see if people actually show up because uh, I do know that people, well, some people are in school right now. And, uh,. Usually it does take about a, like it takes like 5 to 10 minutes for people to actually start coming to the stream. Which seems pretty standard, anyway. I wouldn't know. I'm just uh, an idiot, I guess. So in the uh, in the last stream I actually got the Leaf Blower mount, which is good I guess because it's mastery. I got 100 mastery in both the Geode and uh, <clears throat> Normal. So that's good. Basically a, a full Geode Mastery level and almost a level for my Mastery. My normal Mastery, that is. <clears throat> I have like a bubble in my throat right now. It's annoying me. So let me see. Uh, so am I going to get one or two boxes? <clears throat> oh jeez, like my throat. I got one. It is a 50% chance. How did I not do this? I was seeing the boxes affect this. Yeah, okay, I got two, so it does affect it. Should be 100% chance, to be honest. There's really no reason for it not to be. But yeah, just some casual uh, trove gameplay, right? I was going to do some Minecraft. I know I keep on saying this. I'll probably do some Minecraft later today. I'm pretty sure I said that last night, too. But it didn't come into fruition, so... Yeah, I'm sitting here doing this. That's always spectacular, right? Uh, I don't like this 5 star, but I have to do it because it's right here. You know, you have to do it. Uh, where is it? Where are you? There you are. So, nice that you can actually activate that from the bottom. I thought you had to use a bomb. I didn't know that the acid actually hit it like that. That's pretty nice to know. I actually didn't uh, check to make sure that everyone's out of the world. I don't know if everyone is. Let me just uh, get the world ID real quick. Huh, there's a boss above here, or a curse skull actually. So let's just do that. Hopefully the volume's not like, for some reason, overpowering my voice. It was fine last night, so I don't know why it would be different. I do sometimes change settings around, so I don't actually know if it was changed or not. That was a stellar drop. Uh, did I loop around yet? Let me go uh, one more. And we will see. Oh, no. Nice. No third floor today. Another stellar drop and crystal drop. We're good to go. Get out. Thank you. Yeah, so basically I just bombed to the top of this dungeon. Now, I don't even bother going to the center because for me it's more of a hassle doing that than actually bombing up. And usually you're on the third floor when you finish the dungeon, but, uh, yeah. You're not, well, I wasn't there this time because that was actually a pretty good generation. Stellar drop, just casually from the boss. Seems like the boss has a chance to actually drop something, like himself, not even just the chest. 
I know it's not guaranteed, but it seems like a lot of the time it just does. It's the Nintendo uh, juggler, yes. That would be me. How do you do, uh, strange passerby? I totally don't know who you are. So don't you enjoy this uh, riveting trove content where I'm literally doing the exact same thing over and over again? Isn't it like really exciting? What do I actually... Okay, I have that. Mm. What the... I just heard the Ice Age shot sound, but there's no Ice Age. Too spooky. Uh, do not do that. Use three flasks there, but it's fine. I got like three flasks back from that anyway, so it doesn't even matter. Oh look, viewers. Oh no, don't die. Yeah, sometimes I'm not in the habit of like spamming my flasks because I can do that. It doesn't really matter if I use flasks or not. Because I'll basically always make my flasks back. Like right now, I already have 15. Like I, I was just spamming flasks and I've already made them back. The new enemy models always drop loots. Do they? I know the, uh, where's the, oh, did I already do it? I'm stupid, but, uh, oh, there's apparently a boss down there. I don't care. I know the archer dudes in the dungeon, like in the three star dungeon, they always drop loot. I don't know. Like these guys, these guys here, they always drop loot. Let me see. Or is it only in that dungeon? Okay. Wait, let me, I, got, I'm, uh, I need to do some more experimenting. Or do these guys just always... No, okay, no, they don't. Mm. Because they... Uh, I don't know if it's in this three-star, but uh, the other three-star, where there's like a lot of these guys, they always drop loot. Yeah, like, I don't know if that's a guaranteed thing or what, but they always drop loot in that three-star. I don't know if in here, though. They seem to be dropping loot every single time, even if it's not magic find affected, so... I guess those guys are just coded to drop loot all the time, or something. They have to be. Because I know I'm not getting that lucky. Like, I can kill this guy in the corner, I'll get a piece of loot. Yeah, like, see? That's weird. It's only those enemies that do that. Trove is an endless maze, is it? Maybe. Is that an enemy? I saw a boss over there, but I don't care. Me no care. Where are the bosses? Of course, they're on the other side. Nice. Yeah, but I might actually get to a full stack of boxes today. I don't know. Probably not in the stream, though. That's going to take hours. But, uh, yeah. Eventually. There's probably a lot of range enemies there. No complaining for a lot more loot. Yes. For some reason, there's like an overabundance of uh, ranged enemies. Like, this guy is a ranged enemy. I thought he was melee for like the longest time when Geode came out. But he's actually a ranged enemy, which is weird. The ranged enemies are only bad in this area because they shoot multiple times. You know, they don't shoot once like the ones everywhere else in the game they shoot like four or three times and they all hit you at the same time and it's like why you know why is that a thing loot skimmy best five star in the game i'll take it I need a new keyboard, I really do. Because <laughs> it seems to be getting louder every day, I swear it's getting louder. Because 
I can easily hear it through my headset now. Like, it's actually insane. Like, why? Why is it this loud? Hey, got a cast chest. Nice. Two more enemies. Okay, there's one here and then there's a... Like, there's an actual enemy or boss in the next area. <clears throat> boss time. You're dead, thank you. So many dungeons, a little time. Those ROM enemy skin enemies, I'm scared. <clears throat> scared of them, they'll apparently an eel. And from what I understand, they have a shell on their uh, back. Um, do they? Top side is fish bullying. Is it actually? Maybe the ranged enemies are just like these weird tadpole things. But they just look like, you know, they're like these tadpole things that are like underdeveloped and they're just like rejects. So they send them out in this world to die by Trovians. Maybe that's like the actual lore of this video game. Oh, I didn't even check if the uh, origin portal for this area is good. Because I don't know why that's a thing where it's like it has a chance to be bad. It's not like the game actually has an RNG chance, but it's like the origin of the world doesn't actually it's like it's not proper like the devs haven't fixed it i don't know why like why does the origin of the world keep on changing i'll never know like right now let's see okay we got the good one this is actually the best one because it's like right dab in the center okay the bosses are uh here And then I think the other one was above me. Yes, it was. Getting a lot of crystal drops, which is nice. But they're like all crystal ones, so they're not that good. Yes, they're all aquatic. But instead of water, they all swim in uh, cave milk, right? Dude, that'd be weird to, like, actually live in milk. Well, it's not, you know, it's not, like, actual milk, but it's, like, that's what the game calls it. Who knows what it actually is? It's it's cave milk. <sighs> I need to look at OBS to make sure everything is fine. I'm pretty sure it is, but I'm always, like, worried that it's not. I didn't mean to do that. This isn't the top. Yeah, it's not the top. Hmm. Anything up here? Uh, no. So the way that this generates apparently is there's always two, like there's three cursed skulls and then the other two are actual bosses like the one that I just killed. And the reason why the bosses are good because they're actually three star chests and not two star. Which it's weird that's how the game's coded. To be honest, all the chests in here should be three star. Because it just gives more loot, right? So you just ultimately be getting more loot. Which means more chance for stellar. Or a crystal, whatever you want. Okay, last one is down here. Let me open my boxes. Boxes being one. That's not plural, apparently, because I, I haven't gotten my bronze rewards or whatever. 
What's the loudest in the stream is your keyboard. Yes. Like, I honestly don't know why it's so loud. And I'm pretty sure that's, like, one of the main things that's, like, driving everyone away. It's, like, they don't want to listen to some stupid loud keyboard. But it's, like, I don't even have a stand for my mic. So, like, my Blue Yeti is literally sitting on my desk right next to my keyboard. I don't even think it would be much quieter if I... Like, um... Uh, where is this other guy? But I'm gonna, like, raise my Blue Yeti up here in a second. I'm gonna, like, tap on my keyboard. See, like, tell me if it makes a, an actual difference. Where is this guy? This is why I hate this dungeon. Like, come on, devs, fix this. So, like, if I raise my mic up, and if I tap on my keyboard, is that, like, any different? Because, you know, there's no vibration of the keyboard that the mic's picking up. It's just, uh... You know, it's in the air. That's one of the main reasons why I wanted to use a controller, because of my stupid loud keyboard. I'll see if I have another keyboard, but uh, I don't know if I do. Hopefully I do, because I'm, I'm pressing this keyboard really lightly and I can still hear it. Well, I can't hear it now, but... Uh, if I press it like a normal human, then, yeah, you can still hear it. I don't know, five stars are weird. Why are they five stars? Like, why aren't they four stars? Where are two stars, right? Like, wh why are they skipping numbers here? Like, where are these? Like, we have one star, three star, and five star. Why are we, like, passing by numbers? Can you die? But yeah, anyone who sees this, I am probably actually going to swap over to DLive, like just as like a maining, uh, main streaming thing. It's a lot better, like it's, it's, it really is a lot better just for like, you know, uh, getting, you know, like, well right now it's better just for getting noticed because it's a smaller platform, so, you know, it's easier for people to uh, find you, but that's not the main reason why I want to switch to it. It actually rewards people, like it rewards the viewers and content creators better than Twitch does or YouTube. Really do like it. <clears throat> I also should be streaming at a better time because like I said, I do know some people are in school right now. The thing is, I don't know what time zone most of the people that watch my channel are in, you know? Like, I don't know if it's, like, nighttime or something, or if people are in bed. It's one of those things. Because for me, it's, like, 11.20 a.m. Like, it's, it's almost the afternoon. Also kind of doing the troll thing right now because I know some people like I know most people who watch my channel for some reason only want to watch Trove, which doesn't make sense. Because I'm doing the exact same thing. There is no possible way 
Like, I refuse to believe that you guys actually find this entertaining. And I know for a fact you don't find my commentary entertaining because I know it's not. That's not even, like, me just judging myself. Like, it's just a fact, you know? It's just not. So, like, I don't understand why, like, Trove is, like, the only thing that gets watched on the channel when it's literally the same thing. And I do something else and it's, like, 10 views. It's, like, why? Why do you do this? Why? So it's like, it's sad because when I want to like say something like an, like a, like an update or something like that, I always play Trove because I know people actually click on that. Like if I made like an update type video with like nothing, how, like how many people would actually click on that? But if, if I have Trove in the title or if I'm playing Trove, then people will just click on it because if that makes sense. This game that's pretty much dead, you can't deny that Trove is like severely dying see sometimes this uh, dungeon works correctly and then other times the spawn is like bad like, I don't know why there's not, like, a set spawn point and why it's random. Do I have a full inventory yet? I, I probably do. Like, I'm probably really close. I'm just going to... I'm just going to do this. I should have over a hundred items. Yeah, 113. Yeah, but it's like, how long can I continue playing this game? Oh, I got a lustrous gem box, but uh, or two of them. But like, how long can I continue playing this game? Before it just like before I just lose my mind, you know, it's literally doing the same thing uh, And it's like I like this game But since I'm at the end game and I have like almost everything in the game It's just like, you know, like nothing's happening Playing this game from the beginning you're actually working towards something and I guess I am working towards something I'm getting flux which I can buy stuff that I'm missing with but you know the way that, you know, like, there's no very, I mean, there is a varying way to get flux, but my way is just grind dungeons, which are the exact same dungeons over and over. The thing is, I want to go to, like, the normal world, but, though, you know, that's not Uber 10, so I'm, you, uh, I'm getting better drops here because it's Uber 10. Why is it always this dumb dungeon? But yeah, Uber 9 just has, you know, lower drop chance for, like, Stellars. I'm pretty sure it's not by that much, but it's like, I still want to be in Uber 10. And Uber 10 is just, this is a gross, like, pink area. Like, it's been so long. Like, it's been so long since I've actually grinded the normal worlds. And I miss those worlds. I don't even remember what some of the dungeons look like because I've only grinded Uber 10 since the update came out. Which is just th these same dungeons. I'm just curious how they would... Because they said they want U10 in the normal worlds. Now, does that mean that 5-star dungeons are going to be in normal worlds? Or is that, like, exclusive to Geode? And if they are in normal worlds, are we still going to get geode boxes from them? Because that wouldn't really make sense to be getting geode lesser cash. <clears throat> but whatever. Did I just go backwards? Like, I actually don't know. I'm not paying attention. Is there a boss here? Nope. I hope I didn't miss it. 
Okay, I saw something red, I think. Yeah, okay. Red bubble. How many boxes did I actually get so far? Oh, got a lot. Mm. Chaos Spark. Ooh, build a superior foe, because that's nice, I guess. I'm surprised that the lustrous gem boxes just aren't in the store. At least I don't think they're in the store. That like I don't think you can just buy them whenever you want. So I figure since Trove is just me doing the exact same thing, every time I make a video on it, I'm just going to do a live stream because that, that just makes sense to me, you know? Because, you know, just have a live stream be like 40 minutes to an hour of me doing the same thing. I, I, I guess that will get people's fill, you know, on the game or something like that. Let's just dra drag it back. Yeah, but you can't buy that continuously. You can only buy that once. How much raw flux have I actually made from this? I, I wonder. Let me let me take a look. See, a hundred. Oh, I, well, I didn't make that much from this session, but I'm pretty sure I made. I made almost a hundred k, which is insane. I still need Mount Style stashes. That would be pretty good. I know when I like. I'll know when I have a Mount Style stash because. It'll just say one. Like, I'll just see, like, a green thing like this, and it'll say one. Well, let me just put these pinatas over here, just because. Um, um, let me just loot collect stuff, just because. Why not? I need to go and eat something, dude. I woke up like five hours ago and I have not eaten anything since. And I'm hungers. Well, actually, it's weird. I'm like not really hungry, but I think that I'm hungry. Like, does that make sense? My body is like not displaying a need for like a need for food. But I, I just assume that I'm hungry, so I'm just going to eat after this or something. Oh, these clams are so stupid. Like, it's still hitting me, isn't it? Okay, it, it's not aggro to me, but it's so bad because it just instantly warps projectiles to you. Like, it's so bad. It doesn't make sense. Oh, I thought that was a boss, not a cursed skull. I mean, I guess that's just more flux, but... Or more items. Is there anything up here? There's a cursed skull right here, so that's good. At least coming up here was for, uh, for a purpose. Because sometimes I jump all the way up there and there's, like, nothing there. Can you please die in, like, a quick fashion? Like, seriously? Okay, the mound is over here. Yeah, the first time I did this dungeon, I had no idea where the other bosses were. Like, I had no idea that you could go underground. I guess they made it obvious enough, but it, it still feels weird. Okay, uh, the last... Where's the last boss? I can bomb through this, right? Yes, I can. I don't know why this doesn't go in a big square. It's like a... You know, like why? Why does it like cut off? That doesn't make sense. 
Like, I believe the thing is right. Yeah, it's right here. So I could have just went to the right when I got in. Ah. Uh, whatever. Uh, I didn't mean to get off the mount. For some reason, I thought I was off. Like, I thought I wasn't on it. That is a stellar job I will take. There is another 5 star, which is a good one. Sometimes. Sometimes it generates with like too many ranged enemies and it's like not fun. No, I did it again where I pressed 2 thinking I wasn't on the mount. Okay, where was that 5 star? There it is. Knock back. Go on D-Live and get lemons. Well, the thing was, I was making, like I was... Uh, on Twitch because usually I can get like five to ten viewers and I was going to advertise going on D Live, like you know so people would actually know and like you know go there but I know some people just don't want to go to D Live. like some people just don't care to make like a new account and do all this some people some people well I want to say I don't know it's weird because it's like you need the mobile app or mobile mobile app mobile who cares but you need the app to basically get lino that is a temporary thing thankfully like eventually down the line like when they're not upgrading anymore you will be able to get lino from the app and i'm pretty sure like i'm pretty confident that once you're able to get lino from the app you, uh, people will be donating so much more and i don't mean like people uh, you know, like people actually buying Lino and giving it to people because people do that. I'm talking about people getting free Lino from the chests and donating that. Because people like to think that, oh, one Lino means nothing. And it's like, yeah, it's not a lot, but the amount of people that can donate to you, like you can get like, you know, if you have like 20 people all donating, donating you one Lino, that's still 20 Lino, that still adds up, you know, like people... And you can donate multiple Lionel, like you can open multiple chests. So possibly if those 20 people kept on opening chests, you could probably get like a hundred Lionel in one stream. You know, like, well, assuming that they gave all that Lionel to you. I'm not saying that they have to give it to you, but you know, it adds up. I actually was watching a live stream. Oh, nice. 10 cores that's actually not bad but uh i was actually watching a stream on my uh d live i was gonna say lino but i was watching a stream on d live and i actually saw someone casually give someone four ninjets which is forty thousand lino which is an insane amount and that guy was only getting like five to ten views at the time so i'm pretty sure he was like a small time channel so he must have like flipped his table he must have like destroyed his home when he saw that he got the 40k lino some people are just like insanely generous nintendo jojo what have i told you about what tome i don't have any tomes that need to be done not that i have like any urgency to fill i mean i still have tomes but it's like None that I really care about. There's Bound Brilliance, but that's only five, and that's like nothing. I guess I could do the Meta Matter one. Whatever. I still need to upgrade modules on Geode, but it's like... Well, I need to be doing that, because Geode Mastery is mainly what I'm missing. That's why I don't have, like, the Bronze Banner thing, any like, right now. Because I need that. Where's this guy? Oh, right there. Look, it's like his own little home right there. End of the world. He got visited by Mr. Beast. Don't think that was Mr. Beast, man. It was like some random name. And I don't think Mr. Beast would like give himself a weird random username, right?
but I still stand by D Live. Like D Live does seem really promising. That's a pit. Like I want to start using D Live, but the problem is there's not many people using it right now. There's a decent amount. Like I've seen live streams with like a couple hundred people. Like there are some people using it, but it's a fairly new program. I believe it's only been out for like a few months, so it's not like the you know it's not the oldest thing. Ah, oh, stretching feels good. Yeah, but it's not like the oldest thing ever, you know. Oh, what am I doing? Yeah, but I guess I'll, I like I guess I'll do like one more dungeon and I'll probably stop. Just because I didn't want to live stream for longer, but I don't think Trove is one of those games where I can do that sadly, because Trove just gets way too repetitive after about thirty minutes to an hour. Which I don't even know how long I've been streaming. I don't even think I've been streaming for 40 minutes, have I? I'll check OBS in a second. Maybe I have. I don't know. I would stream Smash and stream Joker, but uh, yeah, I don't actually have the Fighters Pass. I didn't buy it. I've been streaming for 36 minutes. Yeah. Hmm. And I have 194 dropped frames. How lovely. So yeah, I'm going to stop the stream here. So thanks to anyone who was... You know who's been watching and i am going to be on d live i'm i keep on saying i'm gonna stream minecraft i'm probably not i don't know but something is gonna happen on d live shortly and by shortly i mean probably a few hours but yeah see you guys later and goodbye